DS Invest, we're going to be trying to fulfill your 1031 exchange. Let's dive in. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey, folks, welcome to the MLS Search and Analysis Show here on Holton Wise TV. I'm your host, James Wise, and this is the show where we uh, work together. You get me and my team, and we try to build you guys a rental portfolio. We try to grow your existing rental portfolio. We try to increase your net worth through real estate investing. And I'm working with a company called DS Invest. We've done uh, several videos together. And uh, we're building uh, this company. We're building them a nice little portfolio here in Cleveland. And what we're doing today, we're, uh, we're, we're narrowing stuff down very specific. This is a very detailed list. So just so you guys know, you've given me a checklist. And I can't, of course, sell or analyze uh, what does not exist, okay? So what you've given me is, is very detailed. To uh, appease uh, the regulations to make sure we can get this 1031 exchange done for you, First of all, we need to get the property by the 22nd of July. So we have a very short time frame, right? So we're, of course, going to be limited to uh, inventory and time constraints. Now, you have to have a minimum purchase price of 160000 and you're looking for two to four unit properties. And uh, your cash that's coming out of this 1031, you're going to use that as your down payment. You'll finance the rest. So that does narrow us down. You were hoping... Uh, to, in addition to all that, also be able to get a deal that's a burr. Well, that, unfortunately, isn't possible. That's that's not available. Uh, there isn't any burr opportunities that are going to fit all that criteria. But what I have found for you uh, is very close. Outside of the burr component to this, uh, we've checked all of the other boxes. Very nice property. 6,000 Wakefield Avenue, Cleveland, 44102, listed three weeks ago. For a hundred ninety nine thousand nine hundred, it was actually listed higher. Uh, it used to be two hundred nineteen thousand. They've recently reduced the price down to one ninety nine nine because it hasn't moved. Now this is a very nice property. First thing you guys see here, this is the big thing. Okay, see that? Boom, boom. What that is? You got a front door with a, a mailbox and the address. Front door, mailbox, and the address. It's completely mirrored. That shows me we have a side-by-side -side duplex, folks. That is the first thing that I love about this investment, okay? Side-by-side -side duplexes, that is also something that's limited in the Cleveland market. We have a ton of up-down duplexes, not as many side-by-sides. But the side-by-sides are the much better investment. If you have the opportunity to look at two duplexes, one's up-down, the other's side-by-side, -side. if everything else is the same, buy the side-by-side -side every single time. You get longer tenancy because there's not somebody above or below, right? That's great, right? You don't have noise. So the tenants are less pissed off at each other. They typically stay longer. So I love the side-by-side -side layout. A lot of times they have separate basements too. So all the utilities and mechanicals will be totally separated. Not the case here, uh, but when you get that, that's an even bigger bonus. And then like the laundry rooms, they're totally separated. Here the basement is split. It's common. Uh, so we can't get everything, but if you have the opportunity uh, to get a side-by-side, -side, go that. And if it's even further, it's got a completely separate basement. Oh, man, you're in the money. You're hitting it. But this, this is a nice little property, okay? Each unit, three beds, one bath. They're both fully occupied. Here you see one of the units with all the furniture. Here you see uh, the pictures taken prior to the other tenant going in. But this is an occupied unit. This is not coming to you vacant. It's coming with two tenants in there already for you folks. And here is a shot of the basement. See, as you see here, we do have uh, a common basement, right? You got the laundry for one and then the laundry for the other. But as far as that furnace goes, it's a newer furnace. You know, this thing has been recently renovated. So <clears throat> newer uh, updated electric panels as well. Hot water tanks, I'd say those are probably at least five years old if I had to guess. Okay, backyard. Now, both tenants, like I said, both units occupied as far as the rents go. Both of them are actually slightly under, well, one slightly under market, the other is highly under market. One unit, 
they're paying six twenty five. The other unit, the identical unit, they're paying nine hundred. So that already shows you right there. You know the six twenty five is well off. My opinion, market rent for both of these units is actually about nine fifty. So currently it brings in fifteen twenty five a month, but it could at market rent be bringing in nineteen hundred. Now. Of the current rent that comes in, what is currently coming in, of the $15.25, folks, I anticipate you guys spending $9.64 of that on average, okay? So that would leave you with an average NOI of $5.61. Now, as far as the price goes, it was listed at $220. They've dropped it down to $199. I think the correct price for this property for you guys, I'd love to see you guys pick it up at $175K. If you pick it up at 175k at its current its current production, that's a 38 uh, cap. And then if you financed it, it's a 2.2% cash on cash return. Right, eight bucks a month is what you're gonna uh, be anticipated to make on average. But don't get disenfranchised by that eight dollars a month, okay? Because a couple things you gotta understand. As far as neighborhood goes. This is an A-class neighborhood, right? This is the Gordon Square neighborhood. That's why our rents are so high, right? That's why our market rents are nine fifty. Now, I recently did a show for you guys where we picked up uh, property in the Metro Health area, right? Now, in that, I told you guys, I love the Metro Health area, even though right now it's a D-class neighborhood. I told you guys, I really like it for two reasons. One, Metro Health is increased, or investing rather, investing a billion dollars in that neighborhood. Two, it borders other really nice high-end neighborhoods, Gordon Square being one of them, right? We're, we're speculating on that market that'll improve to eventually become something badass like this market. So we're already there with this, right? So you have to understand, you have to pay for that, right? This is already a really nice neighborhood, so you're not going to see the sexy returns, number one. Number two, you're going to have a very, very low risk, low problem uh, ownership experience, right? We're probably not going to be evicting very many people from this property. We're not going to deal with a lot of damage, things of that nature. When we put a unit on the market, we're going to get a ton of tenants applying within days, and we're going to be seeing dual income, college educated folks, you know, we're going to have a very stable tenant base. And in addition to that, guys, remember, it is currently below market as far as the rents go, right? If we were collecting the full rents, which is 1900 a month, you know, our expenses aren't going to really change or anything. And our cash flow, the annual cash flow would increase from 96 a year to 45. So the cash on cash return could really be as high as 10.3%. If we're able to get that rent up now, I can never guarantee you that you can go ahead and just get somebody from six and a quarter up to nine fifty without creating an artificial turnover. But I'd say you want to go slow. But look, if you're living in the Gordon Square area at six twenty five, you know, you're getting a hell of a deal. So I don't see it being too hard to increase those rents up, but we're going to have to do it slow. But you're going to have to understand it's going to take a little bit of time before we can get from where we are today to that 10.3 uh, average annual return, right? Because the uh, <clears throat> the current rents are so low. Now, you may be looking at this and thinking, well, 175 is great, James. That's all great, but it's still currently a 2.2% two, a 2 .2 uh, projected property. So we don't think we should pay that much. We're going to try to go even lower. I understand your thought process there, but it's very important to understand your market and understand who the buyers are in your particular market and what keeps the values up. Like this particular neighborhood, guys, like investors like you are not really going to be the driving force to the prices. The current owner, uh, the current owner, it appears through me looking at the documents, it appears that the current owner bought this a few years ago, lived in one of the units for a little while. So that's a house hacker situation. Eventually he moved out and put two tenants in there. But those are the types of owners that are you know, maintaining the prices in this particular neighborhood. There's just people that want to live in this neighborhood. It's got a nice close proximity to downtown. The neighborhood itself has a ton of nightlife. So people are very excited about it. So they're not looking at it solely from a numbers component, right? There's a lifestyle component in there. And if you could live where you want, if you can get the lifestyle you want and have another tenant who's going to be a high quality tenant come in and pay part of your mortgage, that's really great. And that's what maintains the prices. So uh, even though the numbers appear to be lower, maybe lower than what you were hoping for, I don't want you to think 
uh, that it would be logical, uh, a logical expectation to pick it up for any less than 175. As a matter of fact, that's kind of a best case scenario. You may have to pay more than 175. And again, it's just based upon knowing your market. Now, if this doesn't work and you want me to go back to the drawing board, I could try to pull up another one. But again, we have until July 22nd to identify a particular property for you guys. There's not a lot on the market that hit exactly the criteria you guys have given me, right? You guys have narrowed it down. You guys have made it kind of a uphill battle to target one. And in my opinion, this is probably the best deal. But if you know, you're know you not feeling it, that's totally fine. I'll hit the drawing board at that time. You know, it's going to take a few days after me filming this right now to get this video to you. Maybe at that time, something else popped on the market. So I have no problem going back to the drawing board and trying to find you something else. I just want to make sure I set the proper expectations that uh, when we're looking at a minimum price of 160 k we're going to be in the nicer neighborhoods, which are, you know, typically driven by more owner-occupied purchases. So those returns are going to get beaten down. But in my opinion, I still think they're great. Uh, for investors' portfolios because they really balance things out, especially if you're also buying D-class properties, right? If you're doing a portfolio, I'd love to see you guys balance out your high-risk investments with a few really low-risk investments, right? Because the ownership experience is going to be totally different, right? When we do these higher-risk investments, I mean, we're dealing with bad tenants. You guys watch the Tenants from Hell show. You see all that stuff, right? So, you know, do you really want every single property in your portfolio to be something that could possibly be a headache? Or would you like to balance that out with some just like slow, steady, uh, stable things, right? And, you know, when you go to sell, maybe we'll see some uh, big appreciation. Or when you do go to sell, maybe you really spruce the units up, you know, go stainless steel, uh, granite countertops, quartz countertops, really go nice and sell it vacant to one of those owner-occupied buyers and, you know, you max out upon your exit, right? So you have a lot of options. When you're in the D-class neighborhoods, you're, you're really, your main buyer source is always going to be an investor, right? So when you acquired it, you know, the market was driven, the market was driven down by those investor prices, but that's a double-edged sword because when you're going to go to liquidate it, same thing, it's still driven down. Whereas this one, the prices are going to be driven by those owner-occupied people. So when you go to exit, the prices are going to get driven up by those people. So you could sell it vacant or semi-occupied and really get a premium. So DS, uh, let us know your thoughts. Reply to the video. Everybody else, if uh, you like what you saw here today, if you're like, hey, man, this makes sense. I'm thinking about investing in Cleveland. I'd love to work with these folks, get uh, their opinion on these particular properties. All you guys got to do is cruise over to HoltonWise.com, click the property uh, search for sale tab. You could work with us a few ways. Here's one way, the Investment Properties for Sale show. Uh, that's the, the show where we sell you properties that uh, we've been hired by sellers to sell. So, guys, if you're out there, you're watching this and uh, – you're uh, watching this because you just want to sell your Cleveland portfolio, reach out to my team, sales at HoltonWise.com. We will sell your property on this show. Video tour, analysis, you know, folks, you guys can bid. We get multiple bidders on pretty much every property. We are the number one seller of rentals in Cleveland. Uh, so check that show out. Subscribe to the mailing list. We'll send you that show every day at 1 o'clock. Uh, new offering every day. And then, of course, there's what we're doing right now, the MLS Search and Analysis Show. We have various products. What I'm doing with DNS is this one, this 10 property package. It's a lot of back and forth, right? Because, you know, we touched on it. What if they really don't feel this deal? Or maybe we can't pick it up for 175 and they don't want to pay 200 right? We got to go back to the drawing board. So by getting this uh, larger package, it allows my team to devote those resources to you and go back and forth and, you know, really, you know, keep going back to the well, so to speak, to fit you with the right property. But we do have... Other lower cost packages uh, that start with just one particular property. So it's you guys' choice. And then finally, if you guys are just out there looking for more data and you want my MLS access, you want to get the data to the deals before Zillow, before Realtor.com, you know, packages here start at 10 bucks. You can get comps, you can get rentals, you can get seller financing. Uh, you can get flip deals, and you could do whatever you want with that data. If you want to take that data, go directly to the seller, go directly to the listing agent, totally cool. We're an a la carte service here, folks. You use us for what you want. You don't need to use us for anything other than what you want. So if you just want our data, great. If you want us to do the whole shebang, sell you the property, teach you about the market, handle your property management, handle your insurance, handle your title work, 
we can take care of that. If you just want one or two or three of those services, that's cool with us, man. So that's all I've got for today's show, y'all. As always, I'm James Wise with Holton Wise, and this is Real Estate Investing Made Easy. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Rent Tech Direct provides you with an easy-to-use yet robust platform for managing your properties, complete with its built-in reporting and accounting system that can be customized to fit your business. You can manage work orders and even accept them online from your tenants. You can also share work order details with tenants or owners if you wish. With Rent Tech Direct, you'll also fill your vacancies faster than ever with the built-in marketing tools. Just enter the details of your property and Rent Tech will automatically provide you with a professional online website as well as syndicate them to popular websites such as Zillow, Trulia, and Apartments.com to get your listing maximum exposure so it's rented fast. Based in Indianapolis, Indiana, FS Houses is the premier investment property brokerage with an in-house property management department that can take care of all those unwanted landlord headaches FS Houses can offer you the complete turnkey solution as well as wholesale properties offered to you at a discounted rate. With a network of thousands of active investors, wholesalers, and brokers, FS Houses can help you sell your property for top dollar on the open market or in a hurry to motivated investors seeking distressed real estate. Visit FSHouses.com or call 317-492-9025 for more information on the Indianapolis, Indiana real estate. Discount Property Warehouse, founded by real estate visionary Robert Field, author of The Short-Term Retirement Program, is a complete turnkey solution for acquiring cash-flowing investment properties in Memphis, Tennessee. Our turnkey properties include a third-party home inspection, new HVAC with 10-year warranties, new dimensional roofs, competitive price-to-rent ratios, discounted property insurance, in-house property management, private financing, and much more. At Discount Property Warehouse, we have a staff of licensed agents standing by, ready to assist you with every aspect of the process. Call us today or visit us online at discountpropertywarehouse.com. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest content, including video tours and analysis of investment properties that are available for sale, real estate investment education, and our most interesting encounters with tenants from hell. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy.